Hello, this is another home weight video from Peter Lieberspark Services Central Europe. Uh, this time I'm going to explore what is possible with Enterprise Architect and Raspberry Pi. Um, especially WebEA is an extension of Spark's ProCloud server that allows to um, have, uh, because it's developed in PHP, that it's possible to run also on Linux environments already, um, especially without any additional uh, function. And as I know, some huge customers say PHP, oh, we don't, we not, are not so sure, but if we have to use PHP, then we want to run it under Red Hat. Uh, in my environment, I have only a Debian, Raspbian environment. So it's the smallest footprint of a Linux server I Im can imagine. And uh, so I'm going to show how this can be run on the Raspberry environment. Um, I have already prepared and some extension of Raspberry. This is a PSAINT connector developed by us in the former time uh, that connects without having a lot of cables uh, to a relay board, even driving with enough power to switch these relays. And later on, I'm going to show in another session, not today, but it's just an announcement already, how we can leverage uh, this uh, with um, some interesting approach of OSLC, where we can switch, uh, uh, in this case, a relay using um, Enterprise Architect itself without any code generation, just to show what is possible with this very powerful OSLC environment. What I have already prepared is uh, the backend server. So there is a ProCloud server running in Southern India. Um, I will show it later on in the Microsoft Azure environment. I have opened the web port using Internet Information Server using port 80 and port 80 HTTPS port. So it's a 4 for free and 80. And I have also opened the OSSC port. By default, it's 804 but you can also use um, a more secured one with HTTPS. So it's 805 in our sample. I just kept out all the security stuff just to show what is possible. And the idea is that we have this backend system. And for today, the plan is to have the complete web EA, the complete environment uh, from Enterprise Architect that has a backend with OSLC uh, is running under Raspbian, and uh, this is the same scenario on every device you can have and, and, and on every typical web service, but I just want to show how you have to configure um, WebEA on other platforms than under Windows, uh, and this case is just Raspbian. So let's have a look what I have prepared on Raspbian. So I have already a Raspberry device running. So I just have to restart it. You can see my fingers, I hope. Not my head because I just move over. And um, before I can start the Raspberry um, and I can access that you can see it also here, um, I will have to activate things like uh, SSH and um, and VNC because it's default configuration for the newest Raspberry that we have also VNC as a default configuration available. So during the start of um, the Raspbian in the background, it's really freshly set up. Uh, so it's just a copy of the current Raspbian image. I will go to show my backend. Um, my backend is running in South India. Uh, and there we have this public IP address. I can copy it and I just can show that there is already, so just type in, uh, that there is already something running on port 804. Uh, we can see that the Spark Systems Cloud Server is available and up and running. That means all the firewall the firewall boards are activated and um, it's going directly to the system uh, for OSLC and we'll make an extra session uh, later on. And I've also configured WebEA um, on this server uh, with some additional security. Uh, so 
you can see in the sessions that I have promoted already. Um, so maybe I have no writes on the server, that's possible. Uh, or I just type in the wrong. So I have a configuration of the web EA and only with one model. And this is a very important remark uh, that you here see only one repository um, configured. That means it's running on the backend in India. I can go to uh, this South India repository, navigate through, see some use case model that is configured there. So um, the cu current configuration is South India. You have the Pro Cloud backend and you have the um, Web EA also configured to run on this server. Um, we can also have a look at the server. So we could come jump over with remote desktop connection to the server. We see here the configuration. This is the wrong one. You see West Europe. Good that I name it the correct name. So I will close it. Uh, I will pick up the other session. So this is my South Indian uh, server. And you can see here is the same model opened in this environment. And we can also see uh, the cloud connection. I think the easiest way to jump there is to show where uh, the Web EA configuration, the Pro Cloud Server configuration sits. It's cloud services client. Uh, and there we will see that there are at the moment two uh, repositories available, South India 01 and S SQL Server India 02 that are enabled and are using Pro features. So the Pro features are very important because without the Pro features, you cannot use Web EA. So this is important. Enable extended OSLC interface for Web EA. And uh, this is very important to have configured. Without that, it's not possible uh, to use Web EA. And um, it's also very restricted if you don't have this. Um, if you want to do much more, with, which I will show in a later session, uh, targeting the OSLC interface itself from Raspbian. So, oh, I see Raspberry, Raspberry has started. So I switch over to my Raspberry just to activate the VNC. Uh, I go to, you cannot see it, but I go to preferences, uh, Raspberry Pi configuration. Um, I will change the password because this is required if you want to uh, connect uh, recommended if you want to connect it to the internet later on and I will um, make a, the, the right screen high resolution and I will activate SSH and VNC and everything else is not important uh, in my case the keyboard is relevant because I have a German keyboard so that I don't have mess up with the keyboard. I also switched to German keyboard, uh, but everything else I will stay as it is. So reboot is required. I will reboot it. And the only thing I have to identify later on in some seconds is the IP address of my Raspbian so that I can access it using VNC. So what we have seen, uh, there is a configuration of the Pro Cloud server already in India, having an open web port with Web EA configured. I have also HTTPS, but it's not shown, but I have also activated the OSLC port at 8.04. And um, then we have seen that there's possibility of using Enterprise Architect, of course, uh, with web or with um, EA client directly. And um, I have already prepared my Raspbian um, and I have just configured VNC, so I could have opened the VNC ports and uh, just have to move my dog a little. So, and I will check the IP address. So the IP address is hostname minus here. Um, it's so. I will have to check the IP address. Come on. Um, whoop, whoop. Just 
just have to type in IP IDR. So it's 114. So my Raspberry is available already under my in my local network. So it's not public available in my local network using this IP address. So I'm lucky their Raspberry got uh, with the new image the same as I have got before. Um, then I have to type in my credentials. And here we go. So here, now you can see what I have seen on the Raspberry before. I just uh, said IP address, host name, uh, just brought me the local host IP address, but now I have the IP address available uh, that is uh, in my internal network somehow. Where is it? Here is it. Uh, 1140. Um, what you can try out first is that we try if there is some installation of Apache already. So if we want to have WebBA running, then we need also a web server. The web server is not there um, because I'm a lazy guy. Um, I just have prepared um, a file giving me all the commands that I have not to type because it would be a little bit boring for you. Um, so I have some requirements and how to install Apache. So uh, I have prepared already the correct commands just uh, to save time. Um, and these are the correct commands to install Apache. So sometimes it's really funny because it says uh, it's not existing commands. Um, so I have to type in <laughs> why ever. Um, sometimes some hidden, some hidden fields um, in Linux, uh, some hidden um, bits or bytes uh, prohibiting of really copying the real content why ever. Um, so uh, first I install Apache, it will take some time. Um, what can we do in the meanwhile? Just waiting. I will shortcut it in the video. Um, what we can prepare, of course, is that I just make an individual information into my, um, I make another session of Enterprise Architect. So I open Enterprise Architect. Um, connecting to the pro cloud of India. So I have already South India 01 with a certificate that is not uh, relevant. So I connect now to my pro cloud server in India from my place here. And I will do some individual stuff like uh, making a new, uh, a new view here. And I'm just seeing that uh, Apache is installed already, but I make some additional view that you can see this is a unique uh, scenario um, for Web EA for Raspberry. So, so we get a view here and I switch over and we see that Apache is installed. The second thing uh, we can verify, uh, okay, it is already verified because um, by ever it's automatically updated, uh, but I can type here uh, also the local host IP address and it will work. And I can also type in the uh, local one. Um, it's very important that you know that Raspbian is a classical Linux, so no security uh, by default. So you have to install firewall and so on. But um, in a, if you have a more secured Linux, then it, it is important that you open the ports uh, for the firewall. Otherwise, you could not access. But in this case, uh, the philosophy of a Raspbian is uh, be in a secure environment, know what you are doing, and so it's everything is open, uh, and uh, therefore all the ports, especially 80, is available already. So the second step is that we have to install the PHP stuff. Uh, so I just have the default installation here. So okay, 
it hates to be copied. We have this default um, configuration of, um, of PHP that is recommended by, by users in the web. So I just uh, make a copy here again. In this case, I know why ever this will work. Um, okay, it says in the cache is no installation candidate. So we remove Xcache here. So now we can install. As far as I have seen, um, as far as I have seen, all there is something missing uh, because Enterprise Architect requires um, some default modules um, as they are placed here, uh, like core, CURL, date, get text, hash, and so on. Not all of them are in all environments uh, modules of PHP, uh, and not all of them are installed by default. And once again, not all of them are part of this uh, default installation that I, I have just copied here. Um, so um, we just have to wait for installation of PHP now. Uh, what is very important, what we can already prepare, of course, is that we have a small PHP file. And what I see here, there's also a mistake. So the web is not really the best resource for everything. Uh, and for all the versions of all the Linux editions. So you have to have an open mind. Um, so if you now want to already prepare um, a verification of PHP running, uh, means that it makes sense to have another terminal opened. Um, and I'm a guy, or a visual guy, so I prefer to have, um, to have some uh, visual stuff, but I need uh, pseudo writes uh, for that what I'm doing now um, in parallel. So I'm going to go to the directory. Um, I think the bar a www and there is a directory HTML and there is an index p HTML and I want to create a new file. Uh, it's called index.php. And in this file, I want to place uh, use leaf path. So sorry, if you cannot see it, if I move it to here, um, there I place something like PHP info information. And as soon as I save it, uh, it is already available if you use uh, slash index.php and then it's showing up with uh, php information so it's version 7.0 with some ini configuration and some modules activated um, so red safety is not activated but whatever php is running and that what that what we expected so um, the funny story is that you have now everything that you need up and running so I can close this install Apache and PHP stuff. Um, and so it is possible just to copy the web EA stuff. Um, so everything what is in here, I just copy it to my directory I have writes. So I just copy it here, paste. It says do you want to overwrite? Yes, I want to overwrite. I want to use the web EA file. And uh, another file I have to remove is the index.html uh, default the, um, Apache file. So I just remove it. Uh, remove is not so simple because you just have to press and remove delete. Yes. And now um, I can open the website. Uh, the page is not working. Okay, there's an internal error. Uh, maybe I have to type localhost. Oh, I think it's much easier issue because after you have installed PHP, it's required that you restart Apache. So 
it's sudo service apache2 restart i think it, that's easy and now it acti it allows to have the files so it's not working um what's the issue That's the wrong one. So it says it's setting up. I have to restart the service again. Maybe it's also required to have the files just verify if they're really all copied. So var HTML. So the files are here. There is also the index PHP. So um, page is not working. So maybe we do something simple. We make a sudo reboot and reboot the Respin. So it will take a while um, again. So I think it's already coming up. I can, I can see it on the other side. Um, typically, as soon as VNC server starts, um, the VNC client will also be reconnected. So um, nice thing, nice feature. Just have to wait, wait for the reboot. Um, and now I try again to access localhost. No, I don't want to restore. Uh, we say it's our default browser and we say localhost. So interesting. This one worked before. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. Um, so maybe we are missing some libraries of 8PHP. Uh, so I will verify PHP. Uh, Okay, PHP is there. Uh, I see PHP.info. So PHP.info is also working. Um, so maybe we have to add some Apache stuff uh, to run uh, to run PHP. Maybe uh, there. Go to var www html and there. So not that it was not the right directory. I wanted to go to my media. There's my USB stick. Um, check out my required stuff, uh, PHP stuff. So I don't want to need it. Uh, maybe there is some Apache mistake. So I will um, I will try to make a sudo apt get install lib. Apache 2 mod PHP. So it says, okay, it's new enough. Um, I'm really wondering uh, why I have some, some issues with that. Okay, don't care. Uh, we make this sudo because this is other required. Ah, oh, I know what is missing. Um, I think the most important one is the MB string. I think this was not part of my first uh, installation. So I will make a sudo um, apt get install php uh, mb string. So this is a very important one. Um, it allows enterprise architect to have Unicode support and string operations. And this is not installed by default by the PHP line I have prepared here. So maybe this was the only issue uh, with that. Um, so we have again to, to reboot sudo service Apache to restart. And again, so the MB string should be loaded now. Oh, that was the issue. So now we have WebEA running on Raspberry. 
So funny thing is that um, there is already a sample model, but um, I want to configure my South Indian uh, scenario. Um, and as you see, there are some missing information, but the MB string is the most important one. So if it even does not come up, uh, install as the first installation MB string. The funny thing is with PHP under Windows, you get not this internal error of 500, you will get MB string is missing. So every PHP scenario, every operating system has some has its own challenges. Um, but at the end, it's very strict and how uh, how um, and how very uh, trustful uh, that and Sparks it developed um, using only PHP standard libraries and functions and so no extensions that are not available for all the PHP platforms. So what we can do now is um, configure WebEA, um, the WebEA installation that is running under Respian. Uh, and this could can be done by um, configuring a file that is in an area where I have to have trusted connection to. So I have to move to my var uh, www html and there is my includes. And in the includes there is a WebEA config and I can use a nice lightweight IDE on the Respian to get some syntax highlighting. So it's a re really nice uh, update of Respian 2, what I have seen so far. So, um, and I will make this model one to become a South India, South India Firebird model 01. And the configuration is an ini file. That means there must be a model one settings and I decide for um, the South Indian model. South Indian model uh, is this IP address. I just copy it, go back to my recipe and just paste it. Uh, the model name uh, I have forgotten, so I have to jump over to South India. Um, I, I think it's South India 01, but I have to uh, just verify uh, it's South India 01 and the nice thing you just can copy it all there uh, nowadays it's much easier uh, even cross border uh, clip uh, cross border um, clipboard so we have now configured the web EA I leave all the others in uh, because I promised to show the differences uh, and you can see it afterwards. So if I go to my local host as, and I make a refresh, it, there is now South India Firebird model and I can access because I have an open firewall to the Firebird there. So we can make also trust, but in this case, trust me. Uh, and now we are navigating through, to, through our model uh, in South India. And we can see also the diagrams here can navigate um, to the use cases, to the actors. Um, so it's everything uh, that we have as a possibility in WebEA also available if you run the WebEA environment under Linux. And this gives another interesting opportunity for future work because you can access a pro cloud server, meaning the enterprise architect repository using OSLC that is behind WebEA. You can use it using OSLC not only to have a web front end and to have also the possibilities to make some annotations, to participate on discussions and so on. You can do much more with it. Of course, Enterprise, uh, Enterprise Architect is a powerful tool and, um, and WebEA is, is also a very powerful environment. Uh, so RESPA is not maybe the powerful environment for running a web, a web EA itself, uh, maybe as a consumer, but not as a server. But in this case, it becomes a server. And the second story, of course, we can verify if we can access now not only Apache Debian default from my local machine, I can also access it from my uh, Windows machine and I just access the infrastructure that was uh, built up with Raspberry Pi uh, through a normal 
uh, local machine. Uh, if we want to extend the model itself, so we can go back and uh, we want to extend the model itself. So we have for WebEA, for Raspi, there's nothing behind. I just can open my uh, environment here um, and I can say, okay, I want to add a new diagram. As an example, add uh, maybe using a wizard, uh, making some requirements stuff then we create some um, requirement stuff here already and we can go back to our for web ea it's automatically updated at the moment you know, it's just in creation mode if i wait some seconds then i will kill that later on also so it's still in creation mode because there's some stuff automatically creating so um, and even diagrams are also generated for WebEA, um, and so we can navigate through a little bit later on. So once again, running on Raspbian. So for today, that's all I wanted to achieve. Achieve, um, and you have seen that uh, it was very easy. And the most important was the MB string um, and some modules. Um, that are required. This is out of the documentation uh, from Enterprise Architect uh, Web EA from the web. So this is the most important line. These are the standard modules of PHP you require to run Web EA on any environment where PHP is running. So this is a very important uh, information for you to configure on any Linux system. Thank you very much and be happy to, I hope you're happy and you're interested for the next session coming up in almost maybe one week or something like that, where I'm going to control the behavior of a relay by the state of an environment. So I just switched the board. I don't know how I will do it at the moment. Maybe I'll just make a tagged value and I switch the board and the, the and these relays here will become fired uh, in the future by just switching a port in Enterprise Architect. So just, just a short wrap up. What we have done today, we used a ProCloud server that was running in Southern India, having enabled the web port for WebEA, having enabled the OSLC port to, be, to host the WebEA environment on and Linux, uh, Debian is distribution. It's Raspbian running on Raspberry Pi. And uh, we will have some additional funny features, how to make IoT run with Enterprise Architect Pro Cloud environment. So thank you very much and have a nice day.